Hi witches, blessed be. This is White Raven over here. Today is Monday. So happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. Mm. Witches, I missed you last Monday. I really did. Thank you so much for all of you guys that asked me if I was doing okay. Listen, witches, you have no idea how sometimes I get so much technical difficulties when I'm trying to post a video. Something that I have done for years already that you will think like, well, White Raven, you can do this with your eyes closed. Pretty much I can, but listen, which is, I don't know what's going on. Sometimes it's just happened. Sometimes there's a uh, static. Sometimes it's just issues in the recording. And sometimes I filmed the video twice and it's just crazy. It's really crazy. But I'm glad that at least I got to share with you guys the video on how to make your own Sheila Nagig. I invite for you guys to research Sheila Nagig. And the reason I did that video and I shared it with you on Friday, I think it was, is because last week certain events took place in this country that have some of us witches and some people really upset, sad, disappointed, almost afraid in a sense. And so I was trying to look for some type of comfort uh, in women power imagery. I found Shilona Gig was somebody that I wanted to share with you guys for the longest time, the longest time. And I wanted to share a tutorial with you guys on how to make Shilona Gig. I invite you, which is for you to really research Shilona Gig. And if you're feeling a little bit down and you need some type of boost when it comes to women power, that's a great depiction of woman power. And I invite you and I strongly suggest for you to research her and make your own Shilona Gig and have her around. And whenever you're feeling down, understand that women power and uh, pussy power has been a big deal for very, very, very long time. This is why I shared that video with you guys. I really wanted to talk a little bit more about what was happening in the United States past week. Listen, the video did not happen for whatever reason, but I can tell you that I have been revisiting this book that I'm going to share here with you, Magic for the Resistance by Michael Hughes. This guy was the guy that did the infamous uh, Trump uh, hex. I don't know if you guys uh, heard about that, if you don't live in the United States, but when Trump uh, won the election for a very long time, he was hexed by witches. And this guy was the guy that came out with this spell to hex Trump. I mean, Trump, after all, is not in charge anymore. But this is a really good book for you to learn many things. And you don't you don't even have to be an avid witch to read this book and follow the things that he's telling you over here to follow because this is not only, this is practical magic, pretty much, but it's also common sense for witches. If you have that line of thought and take witches, I am not a political witch. I am not here to condemn who follows this side and who follow this side. I know who I follow and I know what I do and I know who I am, but that's not going to become a wall between me and you. I really do not address that part of your life or my life because it doesn't matter. I think there's bigger things that we can do together independently of the political views that we have, but but today I'm talking about this for one second and that takes me, it is the 4th of July, 2022. And it is the birthday of this beautiful country that I love so much, so, so much. Because regardless of the things that are happening right now in this country, you know what, which is in the front of my house right now, I have three pride banners outside. I went with all my witch paraphernalia that is all over my house. And also I have my American flags because you know what? After all, I still can do many things in this country that some other people cannot do. And I find myself so very grateful that I am here and that I am able to share with you all the things that I share. Uh, many of you guys are not from this country. Many of you guys are from countries that are pretty dangerous to say you practice witchcraft or you even watch my channels independently, which is if you do live in the United States, understand that we got to go vote and do what we got to do and still celebrate the beautiful country that we are in because we still are free and that is a very big deal to me i love this country so very much so so very much it is the birth of so many beautiful things that we share right now i honor this country if you're not from this country that's okay i am very patriotic which is so patriotic and you know i'm puerto rican there's so many issues puerto rico in the united states but i still love this country so much and i'm excited today i promise i'm going to put a timestamp 
I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, so I'm chatty today. So I hope if you are one of my old witches and the people that have been here for quite some time, I'm honored. Thank you so much for just listening to me rambling. I'm gonna put a timestamp right here, right now, right here. This is where the curse is gonna start because I'm sharing with you guys a curse. And it's really funny because I'm doing this curse for me and I do not understand why I'm so excited. You know when you have the feeling that your magic is going to work? so good it's like i need to do this today i i really did because i feel like it's going to work so beautifully for me and i'm excited about that and in a sense even though it's a curse it makes me happy like does that make any sense to you witches this is how i'm feeling today um witches thank you so much for so many of you guys that have inspired me because let me tell you you witch you you inspire me all the things that i do all the things that i've been putting in my website is with you in my thoughts nothing that i put in that website goes in there without you first in my head everything i put in that website i think about me when i started what are the things that i need right and then i listen to what you tell me i read your messages i read your emails and I think my witches need this. There's so many witches that need this. And there's got to be somebody out there to provide this for you. I want to say thank you so much because I have no resting time. Like the website is so busy, witches. And it's only because of you. You guys are supporting what I'm giving you. And the more you support me, the more I can give you. Because with everything that I sell to you guys, I just make my business grow. And some of you guys even have told me why Ray and the website is growing so much that is because of you which is because you guys have been responding so well to the website that it is growing please tell me what do you want what do you want to see in the website because your wish is my command which is i already have told you this so many times whatever you need please let me know what you want so i can add it into the website i know for a fact that many of you guys want statues and i'm working on that i have been working on that for quite some time statues have been something hard to get really nice statues right now i'm going to put in the website a figurine of the morrigan and a figurine of yemaya and they are absolutely beautiful so pretty also which is finally i'm going to have herbs in the website finally so i'm just waiting for the bottles and i am ready to rock and roll and i'm gonna have all this type of because the whole point of the website is for you to have everything that you need to do spells in my curios and curiosity list in my website is going to start growing i'm going to have a lot of strange things in there that's the goal for the future i'm really excited about all that so i just wanted to share that with you so thank you so much for all the inspiration also having said that thank you so much for the inspiration for the videos i know you guys want to talk about glamour magic glamour magic is something that i do not follow and i have very little interest on glamour magic but that's not to say that you guys want to know what it is so at the moment i am reading three books on it so please give me some time because I am glamour magic is very relevant right now in social media sometimes I think it's because of the wrong reasons it's something that I'm going to address I'm going to talk about so give me some time because it's one of those topics that I'm not very into it so I'm almost forcing a little bit myself to understand it so I can explain it to you in a way that you can comprehend and understand I'm working on that right now having said that which is I do not work for people okay so when you write me an email asking me for a spell, I'm going to direct you immediately to my channel. I don't work for people, which is if I have to design a spell for you, you write me these very long emails. I hate reading long emails. I hate it. Okay. But you write me these really long emails with the story of your life. If I need to design a spell for you, which I have to charge you, that means I'm working for you. It takes a lot of thought to design a spell for you. Okay. Don't you think that I have spells? out of my pocket that I can pull out for you immediately. So if you're requesting spells, you have this whole channel with over 200 videos on spells that you can choose from. I am not here for you to write me a request. Hey, can you give me a spell for this? Because I'm not going to do it. I'm going to suggest for you to check my video. If you want me to do a spell video for something specific that you want, you just give me a suggestion on a video, I'll be more than happy to comply with you. Because again, your wish is my command. But please understand the questions when I said email me, if you have any questions, I 
Lair of the Witch, Ayao.com. These are magic questions. Again, I am here because I wish I had me when I started. If you have a question in regards to magic, if you have questions in regard to books, if you have a doubt on something that you read, this is what I'm here for. Let me tell you something. The request for spells because your life is not going the right way. I, I'm getting tired of it. And uh, that's not what White Raven is here for. I'm sharing here with you videos on spells. So you have lots of spells in here, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say. I am sorry, I hope I don't sound mean. And again, thank you so much for listening to all these ramblings. I still gonna put again right here where the spell is going to start. But that is something that is very important to me. The last thing that I'm gonna share with you guys, and with this, we're gonna jump into the curse. This one, which is I take, a okay, hold on. I gotta change the note. I take what you tell me very seriously. And I'm gonna tell you some information here that's maybe TMI, but I want you to picture this. I work over 40 hours a week because I do work for, I have a normal job like most people. Besides those 40 hours that I work every day, I have to do my entire life. That means a website, that means my personal life, that means my studies, that means my research, that means my videos, that means designing labels, that means you name it, and working out. If you write to me that you are done with life and you don't want to live anymore, the first thing that comes into my mind is that you are about to hurt yourself. And I am in this predicament that this witch that is watching my channel is coming to me for help. So I'm going to go in a research for suicidal hotlines, a lot of information, for then to me find out that you're just expressing yourself like that because you broke up with your boyfriend. Don't do that. Trust me, it's not going to be nice. Do not do that. If you're gonna write to me, do not tell me that you're done with life because your boyfriend broke up with you. That is not nice, it's unfair, it's disrespectful, and you're going to have a mouthful of me. Don't do that. Thank you so much, witches, if you came all the way here listening to my ramblings. Uh, I have some experiences. I have more than one experience on this particular instance. So please, be very careful with the things and how you say things to me. Because I don't know you, I'm not seeing you, I'm not understanding what's going on with you. And last, I am not Dear Abby. I hate psychology. I am not a therapist. I'm a witch, which is, I am a witch. I do magic. Mostly curses. So please, don't tell me the story of your life. That is up to you. That's not to me. You need a spell, request it, and I will share it in here, in the videos. Other than that, oh my god, witches, thank you so much for listening to me. I love you. I'm so excited. Let's go into the curse. The curse that I have today for you is a vinegar jar to cause your enemy misfortune. My husband was asking me this question and he al he always questioned my videos because he always said that he could be you guys, right? It's like, hey, why Raven? I'm just asking you the question that maybe your witches will ask you. It's like, okay, that's valid, that's valid. So he was talking about fortune. So he's thinking that when I say cause misfortune or to curse an enemy's fortune is to curse an enemy uh, material wealth, right? Money wealth. But when we do curses to cause misfortune on somebody, it's not necessarily to touch somebody's money. If that's what you want to do, by all means, you can exactly do that. But in reality, this spell is to curse misfortune on somebody else, meaning messing up with somebody's luck, messing up with somebody's happiness, messing up with somebody's synchronicities in life. Or sometimes you get somebody that is just truly lucky. It's an evil person, but it's still hell high in a place, right? So when we are doing this bottle curse that we're going to do today, you can do it just for whatever need that you have. Now, I'm going to be working with vinegar today. It's just apple cider vinegar because I love to work with apple cider vinegar. But in reality, for this specific jar, this is a good jar for you to use water, water on this. You can also use Four Thieves Vinegar. This recipe actually called for Four Thieves Vinegar. I'm not going to use Four Thieves Vinegars because to me, Four Thieves Vinegar pertains more to healing, to actually positive magic, but just to me. 
If you relate four thieves vinegar to evil stuff, or you feel comfortable doing a curse with four thieves vinegar, then by all means, that's what you're going to use. But this is a good time for you to use. Now, this is not an ammonia jar. So no, we're not going to use ammonia and no, we're not going to do urine because we're not dominating people. We're causing misfortune, okay? So I hope that's clear. I'm going to be using apple cider vinegar for this particular jar, but you can use Forthy's vinegar or war water. I wrote my spell in here, have everything written down in here for you guys. So what else are you going to need for your hex, for your curse? Apart from the vinegar, you're going to need a jar. Of course, we're going to be doing a jar spell. This particular jar is brand new. I just bought a whole batch of uh, jars. You don't need to clean this. You don't need to consecrate this. Just use it like that. I opened this thing and it smells so bad. It's very stinky, so I'm really glad it is. So this is the jar that I'm gonna be using for this spell. I have the picture of this person printed back here. Uh, you cannot see it, but I have the picture of the person. I printed it again, but you're going to need a piece of uh, parchment, brown paper. If you have like a, a bag. Okay, before I go any further, which is, hold on one second. Okay, let's hold on one second. Because if you're watching my channel, you probably have seen other channels. I've seen so many things right now and out there because I check everybody's video. A lot of people say that you do not want machine cuts or you don't want scissor cuts. Listen, I have never in my life had any difference between papers that I rip and papers that I cut. So I'm just leaving that right there. You do whatever you want. If you want to cut it, that's fine. But I'm just saying in that sense, I just wanted to make that clear because I've seen a lot of that lately. So anyways, I have brown paper. If you don't have a brown craft paper, you can also use a brown bag or you can use a coffee filter that I used to use before, but you want something brown. You do not have to have the picture of the person. I'm lucky enough, again, which is nowadays, if you're going to be doing curses for people, there's a few things. We all have computers, I'm assuming, but if you do a laptop computer, make sure that in a little folder, you have pictures of your enemies and information of your enemies. This is how you work people. You need to have these things nowadays. And then when you need it, you can print it, okay? So in this particular case, I do have the picture of the person that I'm going to be working. It's in my computer. It's gonna stay there for a very long time because this is working somebody. We are working somebody. So. You need the parchment, which is you're going to need one of the bread and butter of all witches out there, which is a cross oil. In my case, I'm going to be using my double cross oil. This oil is in my website. You already, most of you guys know this because uh, this is one of my hot sellers. You're going to need some black cord. You're going to need a black candle. You're going to need a red chili witches. The hotter and the spicier, the better. You're definitely gonna need lighters, matches, whatever you wish. And you also, witches, are going to need your handy dandy knife. Now, witches, this curse asks for you to have dragon's blood ink. So I'm gonna tell you this when it comes to dragon's blood ink. I don't think that the dragon's blood ink that they sell out there is real dragon's blood ink. <laughs> and I tell you this because I make stuff, okay? I make stuff. So making dragon's blood ink, making any ink, it is an art and it's very, very, very hard. You may be able to get some red tint when you mix dragon's blood with alcohol or vodka or whatnot, but it's very hard. So I'm not going to make you go through all that hardship of getting dragon's blood ink. You are okay with a red marker and we also are going to need our handy dandy sharpie okay which is so we have all the ingredients for this spell i invite you to do this spell with me it's going to be an honor to have you here with me as usual let's do it okay which is so this is a vinegar bottle to curse an enemy's fortune and remember when i say fortune is going to be luck synchronicities good life stuff like that okay so 
in your brown paper, the first thing that you're going to do, you are going to write the name of your enemy across the paper. Only one time is not asking you to write this name more than one time. You're going to write the name of your enemy one time. Okay, which is so I wrote the name of the person that I'm doing this spell for right here. I really dislike this person, so this is for me. This is really for me. So I put the name and some of the feelings that I have towards this person right here. So I put so and so, you blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Sorry, I cannot be more open because I cannot talk about who I'm doing this for. The next thing I'm going to do, you are going to write a big X across what you just wrote. In this particular paper, in the other side, I have the picture of the person. So, you know, just to let you know, if you have the picture of the person, you can do this in the picture of the person. You can put a brown paper in the back of the picture, but I am lucky enough to have a printer and have been able to do the print of the picture of the person. And then I wrote in at the back. Okay, so now we're going to do a big X. Okay, which is once you finish with your paper, with what you're doing, writing the name of the person and doing the X, we are going to wrap this paper around a hot chili pepper, okay? Now get your black cord and you're going to wrap the black cord around your paper. Make sure that at the end, you have enough cord to do a little knot. Which is, you gotta feel this when you're doing this. I know this is look really simple. This is a very simple spell to do, but this, you must feel it. When you finish, cut it up. And let's do one knot, which is, this is a very old hoodoo spell, which is what we're doing today. Let's grab our bottle. Let's put this inside. Let's get our vinegar. Let's put this vinegar inside. You see that little paper? He's trying to escape. I don't think so, you. I don't think so. Close your lid. This is how we should look. Oh, poor little thing. You're going to f go no, 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 no. Which is, I dislike this person so much. All right, so now listen up, which is because um, this is a candle that I used probably from one of the videos for you guys. So I'm going to use it again. I'm going to repurpose this candle. You're going to need at least 13 of these candles. I'm going to tell you why. But the first thing that you're going to do, which is, and this is when you use your knife, we need to cut this part, right? Cut the tip, all right? Cut the top of your candle. All right, and we're going to expose the bottom of the candle. We're going to do a reversal candle. We're going to burn this candle upside down. So this was the top of the candle. Now this is gonna become the bottom of the candle and we're going to burn at the top, all right? Because we're going to reverse all the good stuff that is happening to this person's life. We're going to reverse it. We're going to reverse it back. So grab your double cross oil. Wakey, wakey. I need your double cross. Listen to me. All right. Whew. Sometimes when I'm doing these things for you guys, I get so hot. Make sure to anoint your candle with the double cross oil. All right. Now we're gonna burn the bottom of the candle, a trusty lighter. Anchor that candle in there, which is. Now, which is, this is going to be a candle that you need to watch, okay? 
So now which is once you have your candle on top of the lid, this is what you're going to do. You're going to light your candle, and this is when you're going to light your candle. You're going to light your candle when the moon is winning. And this is going to happen on the 20th of July, 2022. Today is the 4th of July. On the 20th, if you want to do this spell, it has to be in the winning of the moon in the warning of the moon which is that means when the moon is getting smaller on the 20th of july the moon becomes half and that is exactly when you want to start this spell at midnight from 12 to 12 30 you're going to light this candle you want to light this candle when the arms of the clock are going down. So it could be at 12, it could be at 1, it could be at 2. Any hour that the clock arms are going down. So, and we're going to light it up. Be patient because remember you cut that end so you have to wait until the candle starts melting so you can have some wick so yeah this is life my lighter died and you know what I have my electric lighter but it's upstairs so let's see if the matches will do it Ooh, I like these witches. We did it, witches. So what I'm trying to tell you with this is not only to you that this may be giving you a hard time. White Raven also go through hard times doing spells. All right. So now that we lead our candle and we lead the bottom of the candle, it's going to give you a hard time, okay? I want you to know it. I want you to understand it. This is what you're going to do. You're going to recite... 13 curses that you want to send to this person whatever it is it doesn't have to be elaborated but you want this person to lose your job i want you to have a flat tire i want you to fall sick i want you to feel ill in your stomach i want you to be embarrassed in front of your superiors i want you to whatever it is which is these are the curses that you are going to chant while this candle is burning so what i suggest which is is for you to have this chance and these curses write them down somewhere prior to making this spell let this candle burn all the way through so you have to use 13 candles because you are going to do this for 13 nights once this candle is consumed the following night you are going to repeat this as long as the moon is wanting if you start on the 20th of july the last day should be the 2nd of august if you think that you need to keep on doing this spell then repeat it once the august warning moon comes you always want to do this in the warning of the moon make sure it burns all the way through i'm definitely since i'm doing this for me i'm going to wait until the 20th of this month to start this spell but just for fun i'm going to let this candle burn through i'm going to chant 13 curses towards this candle right now and i'll see you next monday which is happy 4th of July and thank you so much for being with me one more time and letting me be part of your Mondays again I am so honored I'm so excited I love you guys so very much please make sure to visit my social platforms Facebook Pinterest and Instagram. I am those three social platforms, okay? And also, if you have any questions in regards to magic, email me at layeroftheWitch at yahoo.com. And last but not least, which is remember to check out my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. You're gonna find a lot of cool stuff 
for you to do your magic. Happy 4th of July again. I am honored to be in this beautiful country that gives me the freedom to do these videos for you guys. Which is, you must stay so very smart. You gotta study, you gotta research, you gotta learn this on your own. Knowledge is power. But I will both, what do you do with all that knowledge? You must stay so very wicked. Enjoy your barbecue. Bye.